What's up, guys? Brad from Gledo Customs. Um, just wanted to do a quick video. I've been working on a whole bunch of frames for Marine Gun Builder um, for the Wacky Wednesday giveaways, and I thought I would take some time and kind of go over the most fundamental, bare bones, basic stippling texture ever. Okay, and I say that it, it's it's where everybody should start, right? Everybody sees all these stippling textures, uh, basket weave, my hyperdrive, you know, all, all the other ones, and they're like, "Oh man, that's awesome! That's what I want! That's what I want!" We're professionals. We've been doing this for a long time. You have to start somewhere. So I want to show you where I think everybody should start. And it's what I tell everybody that comes to me um, asking for advice and that kind of stuff. So that being said, I'm gonna show you, okay? So I call, I call it my OP texture, okay? It's just uh, an EDC texture. It's a non-randomized pattern, very simple once you've got the hang of it. Um, but this is where to start because you can do all sorts of stuff and, and you know, like the, the more you do this one, the better off you're going to be, but you have to learn how the polymer works, um, how the, the burner itself works, right? You got to learn the fundamentals and, and this is where you start. So, um, before I turn the camera around, this is the tip that I use, okay? This comes in every single soldering iron or wood burning set ever, okay? You, there's multiple sizes of this tip and they all do the same thing. It just depends on the look you're going for. But for this small, you know, fine texture, stock almost looking texture, this is the one that you use, okay? So I also got my mask because my shop is not ventilated. So don't want to be breathing the stuff in. Um, I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm just going to kind of burn and I'm going to let you see how it is I do it um, and what I've found that works best for me. Okay, so here we go. All right, got it. the frame flipped over here. I'm going to start on kind of a blank canvas, right? Um, you notice that my prep work is done, my borders are cut, obviously it's been Cerakoted, I've burned my borders in, um, which are also very fundamental in stippling. <clears throat> I have videos on that on this process, okay? So this isn't what we're here for. Um, so I'm gonna start burning, and I'm just gonna kinda walk you through how I do it, right? Super simple, and keep in mind, I've done it a lot, so um, I'm a lot quicker than you starting out will be, but I haven't always been this fast, but um, I usually take and start in say a corner or an edge or something, right? The key to a non-randomized texture is to make it not random. So you don't want to just go straight lines, you know, cause that's all you're gonna see. And, and if you have straight lines here and squiggly stuff over here, that's where your eyes are going to be drawn in it and it just doesn't look like it was meant to be that way so the biggest part is keeping it random so i just start and you'll see that i kind of apply a downward pressure as i'm dragging it around and that gives it that nice dimpled look but i don't go in a straight line and i don't also just go s shape s shape s shape all the way through because that's also noticeable so I'll start a little bit there then I'll come up here and I'll do the same thing. Okay, and I just kind of drag it all around and, and really there's no right or wrong way to do it. Um, you just wanna make sure that you don't have noticeable lines or noticeable holes or anything like that. So and then once you get a few lines started, then you just kind of keep branching out from there. Come over here. Oops, I guess you probably want to see that. Another important thing is keeping your tip clean. So I, you'll notice it come off screen. I, I continuously am wiping it off, but, and I just kind of make lines everywhere. It looks like almost 
I said earlier, uh, worm holes or whatever, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. But that's that's the whole purpose is it, it just makes it to where it's randomized. You know, it's, it's all over the place. And then turn it a little bit. See, so now I'll take and I'll go and I'll fill in all of my gaps here by other, not really other designs, but so where I've kind of been going down this way, I'm going to come across here like so, get up close to my border there, dragging it. I am kind of making an S pattern, but at the same time, I'm, I'm pushing down and just going all over the place. So it's as simple as that. Um, you, you don't want to push too hard. You will go through the frame if you're not careful. Okay, but there's one, two, three, right? I mean, all over the place, no, no one line and, or one straight line. Um, oops, because you don't want anything to be too noticeable or too out of place. So you just kind of work it all over, back and forth, jump over here, Come down through, work it back up. Start getting the polymer build up on your tip so you want to wipe it off. But that's all there is to it. Okay, and just kind of tie it all together. But it gives it that, you know, it's a nice EDC. It's, it's soft on your skin, on your body, but it's got a whole lot of, of as I like to call it, gription to it, okay? Your hands get sweaty, it's raining. No matter what scenario you're in, you're not going to, you're not gonna lose your uh, grip on this gun. So, but, you know, everybody wants the basket weave or hyperdrive or starburst textures and, you know, you name it and everybody wants it and wants to just be able to do it. I did the same thing. The second frame I ever stippled, I did, or I attempted, I'm not going to say I did it, but I attempted a basket weave, and, you know, I was pretty dang proud of it at first, but I'll tell you what, looking back now, it was not good at all. So, get this one down, guys. It's very simple to do. You know, if you don't want to just jump right into your Glock frame or your Polymer 80, um, you can practice on Glock boxes, P mags. AR mags, you name it, you know, anything that's a polymer base can be burnt and melted and stippled. Um, one thing you'll notice, though, as you kind of get going, each frame is different. The, the polymer compounds in all of them are all different, right? Everybody uses a bit different compound, so everything melts a little different. This is a polymer 80 frame, and it is... The polymer 80 stuff is, it burns really easy. As Glock tends to be a lot harder, and I prefer doing Glocks. Um, I just think that's the best polymer, honestly. But I'm a Glock fanboy, so, you know, but they all burn different. An AR grip is going to melt a lot different than a polymer 80. A polymer 80 is going to melt different than a Glock. Glock's different than SIG, and so on and so on, so... You just have to get the fill for it. Each different polymer and each different wood burner that you use, you know, it's all so many variables. It doesn't really seem like it, but it, there's a lot that goes into it. Um, and it's just time, right? There's no switch that you can flip that just makes you a good stippler. Um, that's just not how it works. I mean, and a lot of things are like that, right? Hours and hours of practice and research and time, but... That's kind of what these videos are for. Um, I'm in hopes that, you know, you guys will watch them and you can actually learn something. You know, I noticed when I first started out, there just wasn't a lot of people that really wanted to, to give up the trade secrets, you know, and how they do things and this and that, which I get. But it made it kind of inconvenient. Um, when I, I wanted to, to learn and get better. So, you know, a couple years later, here I am, and I'm hoping that that these videos can help you guys. Um, you know, and like I always say, if there's anything that, that uh, you don't quite understand or that you need 
a help help with or whatever any questions um send me a message you know facebook instagram youtube you name it we're there um you can even email me sales at gledhillcustoms.com but yeah that's how i do it right lava lava rock op as i call it everybody calls it something different but this is the basics this is the fundamental um texture you need to learn how to do this in order to move on so that's enough talking for me i think you guys kind of get the the gist of it but good luck